kind of forgot to record from the beginning. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Um, so the problem with this desktop was that it was booting. It was starting, but wasn't booting. Uh, there was a 30 watt consumption on the power on the on the wall and it wasn't doing anything else if you removed the ram it was beeping but if you put the ram back uh, it was starting but not booting uh, all voltages were present on the main all the main calls also on the ram uh, 3.35 volts were present on the power supply and CPU and chipset was getting hot uh, I tried a new CPU another CPU another RAM another power supply an external uh, uh, graphics card so as to make sure uh, it wasn't the motherboard always make sure that uh, it's not something else before before you start working on the motherboard uh, you might save some time and when everything else fails you can start working on the motherboard so as I checked everything nothing seems to be shorted and all uh, uh, main power voltages are present uh, I flushed both BIOS chips and now we're gonna try and see if there is any difference uh, we're gonna connect our VGA output our power supply and we're gonna test mm, yes and we have an image uh, I can't show you but I will show you that we are booting with a keyboard so uh, if you connect the keyboard you can see that we have a num lock and that it's working when I press the caps lock so we're booting I'm gonna shut it down because it's getting hot and I will probably show you a screenshot to see that it's working If you have the same problem, uh, you might try flashing the BIOS. So, what was the problem again? Uh, the PC was starting, and we have voltage on all the main coils 1.2 here. 1 volts on the smaller coils one of them is probably probably the chipset the other one uh, VCC SA agent I think uh, RAM was also getting voltage all the voltage was ok on the power supply side so it turns out that BIOS was the problem. That's all for this video.
Thank you for watching.